mission work is working for God without monetary benefits attached. But there was concern some churches and mosques have become avenues to enrich a few persons who claim they are called by God to bring lost souls back to Him. In the special reports, correspondent Jamil Febwa takes a look at these concerns against the backdrop of the suspended Corporate Governance Code of the Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria for non-profit organizations. When news broke recently that the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adebue, was retiring as the leader of the church, many did not know what happened. Many clergy have become millionaires from monies they make through their members who donate to the churches and mosques. Some of them live very ostentatious lives, driving luxury cars, living in palatial mansions and wearing clothes their members cannot afford, building schools and other types of businesses without paying taxes. To stem the tide of robbing government, the Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria began looking into the activities of some of these organizations and wealth displayed by their leaders and issued a law that ensured leaders leave office after 20 years and not hand over to their relatives. The law, however, has continued to generate controversies. The reaction, as some have asked me and I said, <laughs> it's good readings to bad rubbish. Jim took that position instead of glorifying God, instead of looking what he, at what he was doing as a ministry to serve God and humanity, he became very personal and he set out to rubbish the church, which is very unfortunate. He was bringing laws that will rubbish the church. I remember very well during the last administration when Jim was about doing this thing, we approached him and the minister. In fact, they had even frozen accounts of some churches. They came out with some forms that uh, you have to record your offering, and if somebody should give a tithe up to $1,000, you have to record it, find out where he's getting the money, and all this kind of nonsense. We told them, uh, I mean, Ayo Odise Jaffa was the president then. We met with the minister. I even flew to Lagos and met with Jim. We told them that, please, don't temper with the internal structure of the church. Pastor Adebo's decision to step aside as the redeemed Christian Church of Godhead is seen as an obedience to a law, though many will never see him differently because of the respect for his person he commands. I believe that when this law was, um, was, was initiated, I don't think government as at that time or government as of now are taking into account the kind of caliber of people that this law is capable of affecting right now we have um, the redeemed christian church of god uh the 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 geo uh, some people say for my geo but for me it's the geo <laughs> the geo of the church uh, saying he's stepping aside even those of us who don't attend redeemed we were really shocked because um pastor reverend adeboye is not only seen as the spiritual head of redeemed christian church of god for me he's seen as a the spiritual head of all christians registration of churches and mosques as business entities should be encouraged according to some who agree that the law is a welcome one the church however is seen to be bearing much of the brunt effect of the law would affect more of the christian churches not as if the law is targeted because in the law itself non-for-profit making organizations includes churches mosques, um, schools, seminary schools, uh, Islamic uh, schools if they have school where they train their uh, clerics. That is, those things are known for profit making organizations. NGOs like We Run Kingdom Human Rights Foundation is a known for profit making organization incorporated with CS. Some acts of fraud are sometimes committed in the registration process or geared towards safeguarding personal proceeds by leaders of these organizations. If a lawyer wants to file a registration for a church, some lawyers, most lawyers, very sorry to say that, because you want to please your client. They even go to the extra mile of putting fake names. A pastor will come up, most of, most, most of them would even want their wife to be a trustee. Because they'll tell you tomorrow my wife will start challenging me in the church. Just the pastor's name only, who is a genuine person, and every other person who appears as a trustee of the church is a fake person. 
The reaction by President Mohamed Buhari shocked many. Jim Obaze, the Executive Secretary of the Council, was sacked almost immediately. This now begs the question, will the law be repealed, amended, or totally removed as it concerns non-profit organizations? Time alone will tell. Jamila Fegwa, Core TV News, Abuja. Thank you.